Okay, that's what I like about the deck is that you need to be. Um, it's like game of chess. Like you need to know what's going on. Like it's like should I swap the decks now or shouldn't I? Should I play Azalina to get his hand? Shouldn't I? I really like I like the deck a lot. I like keeping Howl if I'm second. If I'm first, I rather go all in for ramp. So do we want to just jam tech? Probably we do. So there's a question, how do you beat Demonic Project? Most of the time you just don't, but I have a Mitrix. But beating Demonic Project is one of the more difficult things to do with this deck. But it's good that there's no neutral minion like their threat. And that's what I feel the meta is really missing because uh, for non-warlock classes, there is no way how to interact with this combo. So plague we should save in case we are playing against tokens. So no nourish for anyone, so that's fair game. I think the Malfurion is a very, very important part because life total is a big deal. Like the games uh, between control druids are crazy. So, Zohel is asking, hey Stan, is Fatih very fun? I never played, I actually want to craft it. Is it fun to play? Well, I can like it's not everyone's cup of tea, but the deck is strong and it really depends what you like in Hearthstone. Like, it takes a while before you win the game, so it's not fast deck to climb and if you're looking for a deck like you know which uh, you can finish the game while you're on toilet, it's also not a deck for you. But otherwise I feel the deck is nice and strong, so if you like control decks, uh, most likely you will enjoy the deck, so. Maybe I shouldn't have trade by the way. So you can trade? No, probably I should have trade. I didn't attack because I I don't want him to make this trade because I want to play Plague next turn. What's going on? Molly goes, sure. So we have to nur nur naturalize, that's obvious. And I want to nourish as well. Or should we draw? Probably not, I want to play Infestation. But this is not looking great at all. Like, if he has the floop. Like, if he didn't, then his combo is ruined. But if he has now discounted floop, then it's not looking great at all. So next round, I just want to jam infestation. That's why I played the floop. Uh, because I would overdraw. I could, uh, you know, look for high roll to play, the, play, play it with Tyrant, but... Sure. I think I use both and then the play infestation here to overdraw less. Okay, no tyrant. It sucks. Now I get Malfurion, in. That's an important card. Also, I have, almost have a combo ready. Yeah, the matchup is so, so complicated. Like, if you both run the Zogwego Azalina combo, then it's even more tricky. Uh, I think, like, he's probably Maligos, or, like, he's 100% Maligos, but we don't know if he's, like, the Burn Maligos or the Zogwego Maligos. So it's gonna make the game decisioning decisions, like, a little bit more difficult. Like, what's good is now he could go with Naturalize, since he could be willing to mill something, but we don't have anything important. Like, probably the most annoying if he goes Naturalize and Azalina. Okay, Floop on Maligos, and are we dead? Hopefully not. So what do we want to do? Like, I don't think I want to Naturalize here. 
I can go plague and swipe or inventor and swipe. Like swiping Maligos, obviously. But I don't think he has swipe now in hand, otherwise he would go for that. <sighs> so my plan is to swap with the Togwego, so I need to progress with the combo. So I just do this. Because I would like to play the Flores next turn. Like maybe I will need to sneak in the, the Malfuren in the meantime, but... They go swipe here and branching path. Oh, you played both branching. Okay, sure. So then, if I play Azalina cycle, he goes swipe face. Trade, trade. He goes double swipe. It's lethal. Okay, double swipe lethal is probably something I should respect. I don't think I want to kill it. I think life total is important and uh, he has a sec- Oh, he didn't have, didn't have a second plague. Then I should kill it, I guess. He played, he played for one already, I forgot that. Like, he also has double branching, so I shouldn't be scared of this one freeze. So if I will draw really fast, I will just run into his infestation, so it's really something I don't want to do. I think now I could play Azalina and cycle the breath. I can start the cycling the breath. Or I mean Florist. If I play Florist, he plays infestation though. I think that's fair. Like if he doesn't play the infestation here, I can just swap the decks. If naturalize. If he goes for infestation, I can just naturalize and play Azalina. He has his own florist. Now it gets tricky. I think if I swap the decks now, then I should be completely fine. I think he has his own Az Azalina as well, but. So he has a spreading plank. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think if he plays the plague, that's fine. Like he has no branching paths in my deck. Like he should lose in fatigue, I guess. Or like it's okay, there's Twick. It's a really good draw. I don't want to give it to him. I cannot play the plague. I thought I can. But as I can see, you can't. So he still didn't swip, swap to Malfurion. So I was gonna ransom Azalina. Like now I don't have a space for for next Azalina. Maybe I should play one Azalina less. I think you should have gone with Azalina now. I think this game is weird, like really weird. He has Azalina for zero, so that's something I can do every day. First I should transom back. Oh, I think he fucked up because he doesn't ever have, have access to swap back again. Does he have a play? He does not. I think he, f he fucked up. He shouldn't play the Nourish, he should cast the, the Azalina. But yeah, like this, this matchup is really tricky. And it's so easy. It's like walking on a minefield, I feel. Like... You can get through, but there is a trap on every corner. Skeptic Mist is asking, was that a picture of coffee? It was a picture of tea. You are right. You are right. Second try. Second try is correct. Uh, not sure if Malfurion is a keep. That's the card I feel is really important. So let's grab the version with the highest sample size. 
one is kind of similar. And I'm curious how good is Malfurion. It's very good, you can see. It might be surprising for many players, but this is a card if it got milked, you are in a lot of trouble and the life total is quite important. My god, I wanna have the Lemonade card back as well. Guys, how do I change it? So, Ricky Bobby is asking what does Floop do in this deck? Like the previous game I played him as a 3-4 for 4 mana, so that was pretty exciting. But sometimes it's even better. So Golem. Golem could mean it's Town Druid. It could mean it's Togwagel. Like most popular it's Pearl and Togwagel. But who knows, who knows, it's hard to say. Okay, we're gonna stall forever. Maybe have an MC tech like if he goes aggressively on board. So it's probably Togwagel, I would say. Like we have a Malfurion that should help. It might be Town Druid. But Town Druid most of the time doesn't run Breath. And, and they, they definitely do not run the Tyrant. I think 1-5s are better because of Swipe. And if I just stall I have MC Tech to go with. Now I have Malfurion and he does not, that should help me. Kiki Skywalker is asking what you think about Treacher Warlock. I didn't play enough with the deck. I, I lost against it once with Questro because I didn't pay attention and he discovered my Valyra and I lost the fatigue. It was a terrible experience. Mm. I don't know, we could give it a try. If we want. Okay, it wasn't the definition of powerhouse. I think we should protect our life total. That's really important, so I just don't kill any. Like, I can MC tech, like, if he adds on the board more. Because life total is what matters a lot in the board situation. But the, the MC tech is kind of turning the board situation around. It's the same for spreading. Like, like, this matchup is so, so difficult. Bad thing is we don't have any naturalizes. Like if he would go infestation, I would love to go naturalize, naturalize Azalina. And now I can't. So how many cards do we have? Eight. So we overdraw one. We can use the floop. So we switched to Malfurion already, but he has 19 life total more. And it was pity that we didn't have naturalize on that spot. But we have the branching path to collect the armor. It's probably something we want to do. If we're playing the mirror, it's gonna be like... And now I expect to see naturalize, it has to be correct. Okay, he's saving it. So now I try to catch the breath in terms of armor. We jam the florist, but I don't think it's, a, it's the way to go. Plan. Because uh, sometimes it's better to just double naturalize an Azalina after he goes his florist. And you wanna utilize these branching paths to armor before he does. So it's also good to dodge having minion on the board. Because his naturalizes are not that flexible. So we can go naturalize now. Florist. I think Plague for 2 and healing 12 is okay here. Like now he can go naturalize and play his Azalina, but from his perspective it's quite risky because I still have 8 cards in the deck, so he may miss with these combo pieces. Okay, there's Togwego, sure. So now I can play double naturalize and Togwego, that's something I'm not willing to do. I think uh, his uh, Azalina is coming down, for sure. So I want to do this. That's obvious. I want to do this to not give him Naturalize as well. And we see what we will mill. 
So there's still one more naturalize somewhere in his hand or in his deck. And what's going on, Azalina? that I discounted the Tyrant of the Slim. It doesn't make me happy. So he already took one Fatigue, I will take one Fatigue. So now we'll have Battle for this one card in the deck. I have a board as well, he does not. Okay, now I think I should win. I have a board and we will have the same hands. I can do this. So you always need to be careful to not run into his MC tech. So he can MC tech back. But even that shouldn't, he should trade first right here. This Azalina. So you can play Azalina as a free frame. So I take, we take. So if I trade, he goes face. If I go face, he uses this. So he takes seven, I take six. So I can better to go face here. So now he plays Azalina. Maybe I should have trade actually. Because now I have issues on board. Because he play one more Azalina. Now I'm taking free from Azalina every turn. Oh my god, it was so stupid. Now I can lose, actually. Because <sighs> now I'm taking free from minion per turn. It's really dumb. I don't know who wins, like I'm too lazy to do the math. Like, I'm like ahead in terms of life total, so it could be fine. If I kill this, he kills Azalina. So guys, it was well calculated. I just wanted to make it a little bit more entertaining for you. So I actually would die the next turn, so it's exact lethal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. It makes me real happy that you always go to my channel and check out my daily videos. I'm so proud about the community we made and I hope you'll enjoy the videos in the future as well. So if you forget, just hit the subscribe button and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.